Hi, my name is Chase Millen, and for my senior project, I did the work of an electrician as well as the building process. Start off with a little bit about me. I was born February 6, 2002 in Sacramento, California, where I still currently live. I am one of four siblings. If you look to my right, I have my two older siblings, Bern and Alyssa, and to my left, my younger sister, Emily. For my education, I have attended Woodland Christian since junior year. Prior to that, I went to several different small charter schools. My interests. I really am into football and sports in general. I also really like working on cars. Uh, I really like fixing them. Some of my best memories from this past school year were actually my senior football season, as well as senior homecoming was a lot of fun this year. For my plans, after I exit high school, I plan on entering a electrical apprenticeship for the next five years. Why do I want to become an electrician? One, electricians are high in demand. As we use more and more electricity, we need more and more electricians as well. The Bureau of Labor Statistics published a study back in 2012 where they expected a 20% increase from 2012 to 2022. They have recently uh, released another study where they expect a 10% increase from 2018 to 2028. Two, electricians are essential to the building process. Elect electricians are some of the first on and last off building sites, which is very important when you're doing contract work because the longer the contract lasts, the more money you make as an employee. Uh -uh. <clears throat> Upon the, uh, the foundation being laid, electricians will come onto site to the job site and begin setting up lighting and wiring to provide a safe working space for the rest of the workers. Three, becoming an electrician is very affordable. Becoming an electrician is super affordable, especially through the apprenticeship program. Through an apprenticeship, you get paid for all five years with a salary increase every six months of being in the program. Four, electricians can work anywhere. Due to the different unions in every county, an electrician can sign up for, can move counties very easily simply by putting their name in a different union hall. In fact, you can be in two union halls if you want to see who can call you first for a faster placement at a job. There are also various religious organizations that send electricians to different developing countries to help them with development. Five, electricians aren't going anywhere. As long as there is electricity in buildings, an electrician will be needed to set up wiring and outlets so the building can be sufficiently and safely powered. My Mentorship For my mentorship, I got to uh, learn from Richard Stanford, a project director at DGS. He is currently overseeing the P Street Project. The P Street Project is a new state resources building being built on P Street, Sacramento. The P Street Project. I have a short video for you.
building you just saw has not actually been complete yet. That was a rendering made back in 2017 for what the building will look like upon completion. Fun facts of the P Street project are, the largest steel member in the building is actually a 68,000 pound beam weighing 880 pounds per foot, making five, foot, five feet worth of that beam weighs as much as a 2020 Ford F-150. The P Street project is also a net zero energy building with 100% of its energy coming from off-site solar panels, giving it the LED Platinum rating for efficiency. Inside the building, there will be a $1 million, 24 foot wide by 40 feet high TV acting as art wall in the main gallery. At 3,334 feet tall and 840,000 square feet, it is the largest state building to ever be constructed. The total project value for this is a $585 million with a $520 million construction value. Also, currently there is a $1 million in work being done every single day. How a $585 million building is built. To start, DGS, the state, uh, starts a competition of bids for the different building ideas with various companies. The video you saw earlier was actually A.C. Martin Turner's idea for what the building could look like if they selected them. A.C. Uh, AC Martin and Turner were actually selected to build the building, and upon being selected, they turned in this, the big packet of foundation plans you see here. Overall, there is tons of those huge packets of paper for all different steps of the process, such as the plumbing, uh, wiring, everything goes into those. There's also a virtual rendering of the building with all the pipes, beams, uh, plumb work, everything. In fact, from in this program on the computer, a worker could click on this beam here, and it would tell them the exact dimension and length of that bar so they could know how to cut it and install it properly. Um, upon Turner AC Martin being selected, they were given the $585 million budget and were able to hire different subcontractors to complete the full project. The different subcontractors such as Red Roll Electric, Southland Mechanical, and various other companies such as for plumbing, glass, drywall, and elevators all come in to do their own work separately from AC Turner Martin. Red Roll Electric actually signed the highest contract at $75 million. Red Roll Electric is one of the largest IBEW contractors on the West Coast. They have made very many notable big projects including 10 hospitals, uh, one of them being Kaiser Oakland. They also made Genentech and Vacaville, as well as they did a full reconstruction, uh, a renovation of Terminal 2 at the San Francisco International Airport, as well as the Air Con Traffic Control Tower. Through one of my meetings with Richard, I was introduced to Mike Reynolds, the project manager for the P Street project from, uh, from Redwood Electric. After meeting with Mike, he really helped me to see what a five-year apprenticeship might look like and how the unions work. Electrical unions are large organizations of workers joined together to elevate their life and labor conditions. Unions offer many benefits to the electrical workers such as pension, uh, health care, and standardized wages. Unions also provide worker halls, which is where currently unemployed electricians sign their name in a long list to then be called by various different companies if they want to take a job, they can. The progress on the P Street project has advanced from 45% completion on my first visit in February to 55% completion as of April 2020. Here's a video to show you the progress and work on the building.
That short video highlights a small portion of the work being done on the Peace Street project as well as one other project DGS is currently working on. For the Peace Street project, there is currently 350 on-site workers working on the project as well as 100 workers from different parts of the country and globe, some being as far as Seattle and London. The Peace Street building is on track to be completed the fall of 2021 after being designed and funded two plus years ago in 2017. Becoming an electrician is a great choice with many opportunities and, it, and is currently high in demand. A special thanks to Richard and Richard Stanford and Mike Reynolds for making my mentorship possible and as informative and enjoyable as it was. I really enjoyed coming to their project every single time and getting to tour it and view the progress done on it, as well as the building progress in general. Question. Uh, so it says that this is still another year out from completion. Um, is this project being delayed at all by the COVID-19 crisis? No, actually. They were able to switch from, instead of just having everyone come at once, because they can't fit so many guys in the construction elevators, they had to go from putting 15 guys in the construction elevator down to only three guys per elevator. So what they did instead was they s stretched out the shifts of the workers. So instead of everyone coming in the morning, now it's, it comes in waves throughout the day. They've also hired a lot more workers to combat the COVID-19. Um, so they actually haven't, the end date for this project that was originally set back in 2017 hasn't shifted at all. They've done a really good job keeping that. All right, you talked about um, becoming an apprentice. Do you know how much, how much does an apprentice make? How much does an entry-level apprentice make, do you know? For the entry-level apprenticeship, it should be around $14 an hour, and then that should go up by, I believe, 10% every six months for the five years. By the end of your apprenticeship, they make very similar to what an official journeyman would make. Uh, is it all on the job experience? Is there any, do you have to do, go to college first? How does that work? Through the union, they are actually partnered, or one of the programs at least, is actually partnered with ARC. So you do get some college as well as a lot of on the job training, but you also, when you graduate, you should get uh, some college credit in there as well. This has been my 2020 senior project. Thank you for watching.